We are not in a hurry. <laughs> I'm sure. I hear you're not the type to do anything hastily. Ring, ring. I do Hello. not waste time and energy on insignificant matters. So I heard. Is that why you strip yourself of your memories and store them in external data banks? In my quest for mental hygiene, for spiritual economy. Do you believe in God, Colonel Hansen? Mm. Which one? The Euro dollar? The geopolitical powers that be? Or the Christian God? No. Wastes of my time all. I see. Then I am curious how you will fare after this life has ended. Changing the subject. Did you enjoy yourselves at the Black Sapphire? My people tell me the games went high stakes. You two left richer and happier, I hope. By the end of the night, we lost our entire stack. But such is gambling. Oh, judging by your tone, that doesn't seem to bother you at all. Because it does not. I enjoy money, of course. But I do not allow it to control my life. You know what they say about great minds. I think it's no surprise we find ourselves doing business together. The Black Sapphire is my pride and joy. I worked hard to make it the go-to destination for Night City's royalty. Your operation in the stadium is most impressive. Perhaps even more than the ball at the Sapphire. One can't work without the other. To make billions from the arms trade, you have to first line the pockets of the powerful with millions. The stadium is an integral part of my work in Night City. Say, it's been a while since you were last in Night City, hasn't it? Not since Sinoshore. Quite right, but we almost flew here some time ago. Emmerich had other business in Night City. My brother is obsessed with cars. <laughs> he collects them. I say to him how wonderfully pretentious he is. Interesting. And what rare gem brought you halfway around the world? I was shopping for a Quadra Turbo R, a model from 55. Ah, a connoisseur of the classics. You know, I checked whether anyone here knew you. They did mention a car, just not a Quadra. Then your man misled you. Perhaps by accident, perhaps not. Huh. Not the kind to make reckless mistakes, that one. Please, I have vodka. Help yourselves. I'm sure you never put pleasure before business, but I insist. A symbolic drink. <laughs> I could not say it better myself. Symbolic, yes. Not very American, I know, but it's a custom my friends in Siberia taught me to love. You have many friends, it seems. Oh, I've visited many places, forged my fair share of stories to be sure. Siberia was just one pit stop of many. Oh, you are a well-traveled man. It's easier to count the places I haven't been. I know where to find what no one else has, and who to call to get it. There are two ways to build a strong professional network. One is travel, the other, a prison term. Ah, right. I'd almost forgotten. My friends in Las Sante send their regards. C-Block. Uh, your friends are mistaken, I think. Are you sure? You spent two years in that prison. Under a false name. That's right. In the VIP wing. But the cockroaches in C-Block don't know who is there. Then forgive me. I must be mistaken. By the way, Amerik, 
I asked around a bit, doing my due diligence. They tell me you worked at Petrochem three years ago. Corporations rarely let your caliber talent slip through their fingers. How did you wriggle out of the contract? Fingers. How did you wriggle out of the contract? Colonel, this may be difficult to believe, but I do not remember. Hmm? I store my memories in external databanks. My databanks from that time were stolen. Forgive me, I would like to answer, but I cannot. Please, it's no problem. Ah, so me.